How's it going everybody? This is Dan from Pally. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, well, hey, I'll welcome you back next time after you press that subscribe button down in the bottom right corner of your screen. There's a red box that says subscribe. Press that. Press the bell notification icon beside it when it comes up. Get notified every single time that I post new content on this channel. And speaking of subscriptions, guys, we recently passed the 5k mark. Uh, within the last 24 hours uh, and it was only four days after we passed the 4k sub mark so thank you guys for showing up every single time that i post new content you are absolutely fantastic uh, now i do want to get into something uh, that's a little bit infuriating before i get into the reaction video at hand uh, which is going to be home freeze catch me if you can um so the last video that I posted, uh, which was a reaction to the video for 21 Savage featuring Jay Coles a lot, um, initially it was blocked by YouTube. Uh, well, not YouTube, the, the, the copyright holder, which is fine. You know, it happens. And I said that I wasn't going to fight them on this or whenever it does happen because, you know, it's a rights holder's prerogative. And I get that, you know, they want to, to be protective of their copyrighted materials. Cool. Uh, however, once I got, once the same thing happened with my reaction to uh, uh, Diana's song, which was also posted the same day, uh, I decided, you know what, let me see if I can do the same thing. I'll slightly distort the sound, I'll distort the video, and uh, we'll see what we can get away with here. So they, they uploaded it, but it's unsearchable which is cool so it's not coming up in recommendations it's not coming up in searches uh and me and three other people went through all of my keywords and we tried searching by every single keyword nothing's coming up uh so i reached out to youtube chat support creator chat support and tried to get their help their input on it uh they came back and said yeah there's 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 nothing and they tried saying you, you know it's uh we don't have any control over the algorithm uh, oh, okay, cool. Uh, that'd be fine if it was just a matter of me not getting to page 90 and me not finding it yet, but it's as if I've never uploaded it at all. So chances are, unless you are already subscribed and got the notification that I posted the video uh, from being a subscriber, you don't know that I've even put that up yet. Uh, so that's super frustrating because I, I don't know if I'm going to have issues with this video that I'm recording right now. I don't know if people are going to be able to find this, if I'm going to be able to continue growing as a, you know, a YouTube creator, as a reactor, if this channel is going to get anywhere further. Uh, because no one's really able to help me out. So that's fun. Uh, hopefully, however, you're seeing this video because... Either A, you're a subscriber and you know, you, you're a fan of the natural way, of course, or B, uh, you've searched for this video and you're, you're watching it right here. Uh, so that would be great. Fingers crossed and all that jazz. Uh, speaking of subscribers and growth and all that stuff, so fun fact, uh, about 81% of returning viewers are not subscribed to my channel. Uh, it's free. If you're coming back to my video anyway, just press that subscribe button. I post new content. There's always something fresh. You know, it might not always be the, the same artist that I'm covering or same group or whatever, but there's always going to be something here at least five, six days a week. Um, and it's definitely worth it. I'll keep you entertained, I promise. Uh, especially if you don't mind coming back to the first place. It, you know, it doesn't cost a dime to press that, uh, that red button. So, yeah. Not that I mind the, uh, the subscribers that I already have, but, you know, part of this is that you want to be able to grow, which is why I want to do some hip-hop and why I started doing BTS, because I looked at their demographics, and it's a little bit younger than the uh, 45 and up demographic that I've been getting. Um, just something to help me expand, not to, to replace, just to expand, you know? Uh, so anyway, guys, that's going to be it. So let's talk about Home Freeze Catch Me If You Can. So a lot of you, when I did my reaction to Die Bar Sinks a couple of weeks ago, mentioned that this song flows naturally from Die Bar Sinks, or at least the video does, uh, since it follows the same couple that was featured at the bar. 
Um, so that's why we're going to be doing this. I know it's taken a, a little bit of time for me to get into this. So I went back and I just rewatched Die Bar Saints before starting this video. Uh, it was it still holds up on the second viewing, which is pretty cool. Um, so this is going to be Catch Me If You Can. I didn't know this in the last one, but it wasn't actually written by Home Free. I don't know if any other Home Home Free's uh, original songs are written by them. Uh, but this is written by Keelan Donovan, Lewis Johnson, and Anna Rose Menken, which is super surprising. Uh, she is a fantastic singer herself. Uh, and she is the daughter of, uh, you know, Oscar-winning composer Alan Menken. Uh, you can actually find some videos of them singing together here on YouTube. Uh, she is really, really good. So uh, that's that's interesting that uh, she's part of the writing team on this. She has some writing credits of her own on some movies as well. Uh, so I'm going to pull this up right now. We're going to stop talking before the video, and we're going to get to talking about the video as I press play. Let's go. Catch me if you can. All right? Well, I went too far. Yes, I went too far this time. I guess I made up my mind. And I can't recall drinking this much red wine. Oh, no. Catch me if you can Yeah, catch me if you can Well, I'm already gone California was never my home I'm turning dust in the desert sand Ooh, so catch me Okay, so this is pretty cool so far. Um, you guys know that I really appreciate a good Rob solo. Uh, his smooth voice is fantastic, um, and it's really it's really doing wonders here as it uh, contrasts against the uh, the vocal percussions from Adam Rupp, um, which you know I I feel like I go over every time that I do one of these videos from Home Free because he just has a tendency to lose himself in the percussion and actually become the instrument. Um, I, I'm very adamant that he is, he is one of the, the best beatboxers, if not the best beatboxer that I've ever heard. Uh, and, and, you know, I've watched a lot of beatboxers in my day. There, there's a difference between, you know, a competition beatboxer, which tends to be, you know, very freestyle ad lib, which we have watched in uh, the solo that I did, and I've watched a couple more solos that he's done as well, so he can do that, but there's a, there's a real big difference in beatboxing that way versus beatboxing in a song, which, you know, you hear in, or, or, well, I hope you hear in a lot of these uh, big name acapella groups, or, you know, even not big name acapella groups, everybody needs a vocal percussionist. Uh, because the, it's their job to bring together everything else in the song, uh, all of the other vocal instruments. It's their job to start the tempo. It's their job to finish out the song. Um, they really have to do their, do their vocal math to see what, uh, what works and what doesn't work with a song. So if you have somebody that's a lesser vocal percussionist and isn't a great beatboxer, then... It, your your song can really just fall apart, but that never happens with Adam Rupp. Um, so props to that guy; he is fantastic. Uh, let's keep on uh, let's keep on watching this here. It's uh, it's been a pretty cool video. I'm watching you stumble the same line. Don't 
this is a pretty cool video. Uh, you know, something that I, I find I've understated in a couple of my other videos I've reacted to is uh, is the bass because I, I think I've mentioned it so many times and I've been so impressed by Tim Faust's bass. And I know Chance does his thing as well uh, whenever he has the chance to do so, of course. Um, but it, it is just bewildering at how well they blended naturally to the song because it, it's, it never ever sounds like it's somebody emulating a bass. It just sounds like a natural bass instrument. Um, I, I also really enjoy the song in general. Uh, away from the thematics of the video, which of course definitely follows through through uh, Die Bar Saints, the music does as well. Um, you can hear, you can still hear notes of that southern gospel kind of rocky feeling, um, kind of permeating through it, but also added in with that, you know, mid twenty tens uh, acoustic indie pop vibe, which I actually really, really like. There, there's some stuff in here. There's some stuff in here where if I wasn't watching this and I didn't know it was home free. Um, if I was blindfolded and asked the, you know, who sings this song, it, it, it sounds almost like Mumford and Sonsy, uh, which definitely isn't a bad thing. Uh, so I'm going to keep on going here. We're about a third of the way through the song, probably a little bit more given credits and whatnot, but I'm really enjoying this so far. Really quickly, those uh, those backing vocals from uh, Tam's bassy notes are are really wonderful. A uh, great way to end the song. Ooh, so catch me, catch me if you can. So that was Catch Me If You Can from Home Free, the, uh, the spiritual successor, as it were, the sequel to Died by Saints. Um, I don't know if I liked it as much as Died by Saints, but it's definitely a, a great song. I don't want that to make you think that I didn't like it as, you know, as much. It's just a, a little bit different. Um, uh, of course, I kind of connected a little bit more with Die Bar Saints itself as a, as a song, as a video, as a storytelling device. Uh, but this was, a, this was a really good song. I love that Rob took the lead on this one uh, because, uh, again, it was really up his wheelhouse as far as uh, vocal thematics go. So yeah, that's going to be it for my reaction to Home Freeze. Catch me if you can. Now, if you are just joining me for the first time, this is your first reaction video. I'm going to reiterate what I said earlier. Right down there, there's a red box. It says subscribe. When you click on that, a big bell notification icon comes up. Actually, it's fairly small, about the same size as the, uh, as the subscribe box. Uh, but that allows you to uh, customize how you get notified every time that I post new content. So you press that, and, you, and, and, and I'm with you for good. So if you like what I do here on this channel, press that. And uh, we'll be seeing each other really soon. But while you're there, you can also give the, uh, you know, the, 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 the video itself a like. It's uh, the shape of a thumb up icon. We can avoid the thumb down icon. We all know it's there. This, uh, this video actually got 96 of those downward thumb icons. 
So 96 people don't know that that's broken and doesn't matter. But yeah, you can avoid, you can just completely ignore that uh, downward thumb icon and uh, go right down to the comments section. Let me know what you want me to react to next. It could be something from Home Free. It could be something from, you know, one of the members of Home Free or any other act out there in the world. I think after this, while I was going down, um, my reaction to Home Freeze, the Dive Bar Saints again, uh, a couple of people have suggested me check out uh, Adam Chance's Udalali, so I think I'm probably going to do that. And that might come out soon, uh, if not later tonight, which is Monday, it'll probably come out early on Tuesday. Yeah, I'm gonna say it might end up coming out early on Tuesday at the uh, at the very latest. But yeah, thank you guys for coming by, checking out another video. This is my reaction to Home Freeze. Catch me if you can. I'll see you real soon. Bye bye.